In this video, we will learn that what is sine theta, what is cos theta, and what is tan theta. So we have three uh, different function. One function is called sine. This function takes theta as its parameter. Second function is cos. It takes theta as parameter. Theta is an angle. And third function is tan. Theta is its parameter. Some people also write these in a function notation like this uh, sine and theta or cos and theta. This notation is uh, more uh, like a function notation, but somehow with the passage of time, people write more and more in this form than in this form. So both are the same, both have same meaning. So what are sine and what is cos and what is tan? What is sine theta and cos theta and tan? So sine, cosine, and tan are ratios of this uh, sides, two sides of this triangle. So some are ratios of this and this side, some are ratio of this and this side, some are ratio of maybe some other two sides. And how to find out the sine ratio of what and cos ratio of what and tan ratio of what? Uh, people have made different mnemonics. If you are living in Asia, like we are, then the mnemonics are some people have curly brown hair through proper brushing. And if you are living in um, uh, Europe or in uh, USA, then the mnemonic is Sokatoa. So I don't know which normally you like more. So I'm going to write both of them and we're going to just go through them quickly. So uh, in USA, we write Sokatoa. So it's, it's, uh, so, ka, toa, right? Yes. So this is saying that sine is equals to uh, opposite divided by hypotenuse, and cos is equals to adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and tan is equals to opposite divided by adjacent. So this is saying basically that sine theta is equals to opposite divided by hypotenuse and cos theta which we also call cosine theta cos theta is equals to uh, adjacent divided by hypotenuse and finally tan theta is equals to uh, opposite divided by adjacent Maybe I should have used all capital or all smaller letters, but but I think can, making people confused is better. So this way is good. And if you are living in Pakistan or in India or in some part of Asia, then we don't use this Sokatoa. We use some people have curly brown hair through proper brushing. So we have some people have some people have curly brown hairs uh, through proper brushing and according to this uh, mnemonic we have sine is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse and cos is equals to base upon hypotenuse and finally tan is equals to uh, perpendicular over base make sense now from these formulas we can get that tan is basically can be made from sine and cos so tan is basically sine over cos and we can just verify if this is true or not so if we say tan is equals to tan theta i'm just i'm just it is t but it's been tan theta okay so tan theta is equals to uh, sine theta over cos theta now let's put formula of sine theta. Sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So it's perpendicular upon hypotenuse. And because uh, cos is going to be in the uh, denominator, so I'm going to uh, basically write it in the denominator by flipping, by, by taking reciprocal. So it's going to be uh, hypotenuse over base. So hypotenuse over base. Hypotenuse will cancel with hypotenuse. So tan is going to be perpendicular upon base, right? So tan is basically equals to what? 
sin theta over cos theta. Make sense? Yes. Similarly, we can find from here that uh, if we take uh, sin theta over cos theta, we will get uh, opposite over um, adjacent, which is basically tan. So now let's do some examples to make these concepts crystal clear. 